Heavenly Father, we gather before you with grateful hearts, ready to receive your word and seek your wisdom. Open our hearts and minds to understand your message for us today. Guide us through these readings and help us grow in faith and obedience. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Reading 1, Isaiah 10 verses 5 to 7, 13 to 16. Woe to the Assyrian, the rod of my anger, in whose hand is the club of my wrath. I send him against a godless nation. I dispatch him against a people who anger me, to seize loot and snatch plunder, and to trample them down like mud in the streets. But this is not what he intends. This is not what he has in mind. His purpose is to destroy, to put an end to many nations. For he says, by the strength of my hand I have done this, and by my wisdom, because I have understanding, I removed the boundaries of nations, I plundered their treasures, like a mighty one I subdued their kings, as one reaches into a nest, so my hand reached for the wealth of the nations, as people gather abandoned eggs, so I gathered all the countries, not one flapped a wing, or opened its mouth to chirp. Does the axe raise itself above the person who swings it? Or the saw boast against the one who uses it? As if a rod were to wield the person who lifts it up, or a club brandish the one who is not wood. Therefore, the Lord, the Lord Almighty, will send a wasting disease upon his sturdy warriors. Under his pomp a fire will be kindled like a blazing flame. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms 94 verses 5 to 6, 7 to 8, 9 to 10, 14 to 15. They crush your people, Lord. They oppress your inheritance. They slay the widow and the foreigner. They murder the fatherless. They say, the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob takes no notice. Take notice, you senseless ones among the people. You fools, when will you become wise? Does he who fashioned the ear not hear? Does he who formed the eye not see? Does he who disciplines nations not punish? Does he who teaches mankind lack knowledge? For the Lord will not reject his people. He will never forsake his inheritance. Judgment will again be founded on righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Gospel, Matthew 11 verses 25 to 27. At that time Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned, and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Prayer, gracious God, we come before you acknowledging your supreme authority over all creation. Just as you used Assyria as an instrument of your judgment, remind us that you are in control of the events of our world and our lives. Help us to trust in your wisdom and your plans, even when they are beyond our understanding. We lift up our prayers to you, trusting in your unfailing love and guidance. Strengthen our faith, deepen our understanding, and fill us with your grace as we strive to live according to your will. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.